So in physics, we need to know about unit conversion and units. Units are really important in this class, um, but we need to make sure we're using the proper base units always. Uh, so we use meters, okay? So we don't use, um, we're not going to use inches, we're not gonna use feet, we always uh, use meters. If we're given kilometers even, we need to make sure we convert it into meters. Um, you know, likewise, we'll be using seconds. Um, We'll be using meters per second squared. Again, that's meters, right? We're still talking about a minute meters, so we'd have to convert things to meters. So units and base units are always gonna be important in physics class. Um, so what if we were given kilometers? Let's say I, uh, you were giving 14 kilometers. Well, we would have to convert that to meters in order to do our calculations. So I need to get somehow from kilometers to meters, okay? So doing that, um, the way we're gonna do it, I, I don't really like physics students having to memorize, do I divide here, do I multiply there? So is it multiplying by a thousand, what am I gonna do, okay? It's easier for you to just try to multiply everything out and cancel out units as you go. Now you do need to know, and hopefully you do know through all your other classes through the years, that um, kilometers are gonna be bigger than meters. And we also know that uh, 1,000 meters is going to be equal to one kilometer, okay? But that again, sometimes that's not even, you hopefully have memorized it, but that's not as important as understanding how to get from the units from one thing to another. So if I need to go from kilometers to meters, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to multiply and then put a fraction here. Okay, so that I can multiply and I'm gonna have fraction, something on top, something on bottom, and I need, I'm setting it up so that things can cancel out. So if I have kilometers over here, that's really on top. So if I have kilometers on top, I need to put kilometers down below for them to cancel out, okay? Next, I'm gonna put what I'm replacing the kilometers with, and in this case, I'm replacing kilometers with meters. So I want to put my meters there because that's where I'm replacing the kilometers. Okay, then ask yourself the question, what's bigger? What's bigger, a kilometer or a meter? A kilometer is bigger than a meter, so I put a one next to the kilometer. Okay, my meters, and I, we know that there's a thousand meters in a kilometer, so I'll put 1,000 meters up top for those kilometers. All right, now the last thing is you will just multiply everything on top and divide anything on bottom. So I have a 14 and a thousand on top, which means I have 14,000 on the top. Now on the bottom, we only have a one. So I'm really dividing by one, but we know that dividing by one doesn't make any difference. It's the same thing. So really that goes away. So my answer for uh, how many meters are in a kilometer would be if I had 14 kilometers, I really have 14,000 meters. All right, that's it.